I made the realization that I don't teach math. I teach people the subject of math. So flipping the object of the sentence in my head made a really strong connection with myself to my learners. And last year, at the beginning of the school year, I was standing outside my classroom because we all know the research says teachers should greet their, their learners at the door. Research is really solid on that, and I was standing there, kind of going through my head, on the first day of school, how am I going to set the tone for every single day that you walk in my classroom with energy, enthusiasm, excitement, and we are here to have fun, and we are here to learn math. And as I'm standing there, I realized every single kid who walks in my door today is going to get a high five. So every single learner, as they walked in my door, I stood there like this all day long. High five, high five, high five, I had a line at the door. And every kid got a high five and they walked in and they said, it's really weird. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not really sure what to do here. Um, right? I mean, it was, it was creepy. The kids were like, what well, what are you doing? Said, high five, let's go. Come on, we're doing math today, high five. Let's go, come on. I, and I'm the last person, at, I'm at the end of a hallway. Every kid, come on, let's go, high five, let's go. Come on, welcome to Waddell's room. The teachers are like. <laughs> um, so every kid walked in my door, got a high five the first day of class. I'm like, that's pretty cool. Second day, same thing. Walked in the door, high five. Um, I had one girl who refused to give me high fives. One girl. By the second month of school, she walked in and she went, high five, what up? <laughs> <laughs> but it completely changed the tenor of my classroom because they were walking in and they asked, why are we getting a high five? Because you are doing something awesome. Why else do you get high fives? <laughs> right? Because what, what do you get high fives for? You score a point on the, on the gym floor, you get a high five. Right? The kids are walking in my classroom and like, why am I getting a high five? Because you are doing something awesome today. What are we doing? You're walking in my classroom. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> That's what it's all about. It reached the point where by month three, if I was stepping away using the restroom, the kids would line up at the door and wait for me to get back. <laughs> they needed their high five. I'd have kids walk me and set their stuff down, walk back out and wait in the hallway, because I wasn't there to give them their high five. I had a meeting, so I was away from school. They'd walk in the next day and give me two. Missed yesterday, Waddell. I've got to get it today. <laughs> I teach people. That's the strong connection. I don't teach math. I teach the subject of math, but I teach people, and that was really powerful. I had the best year I've ever had last year, and I attribute a great deal of that to the fact that every single learner, every single day, got a high five as they were walking in my door. Because that's awesome. Um, and then one announcement. Uh, every year, we've done an a archive of all the blog posts about TMCC, or TMC. Uh, that will occur again. I'll put a link up here uh, tomorrow for a, a Google link, not a bit.ly, um, for the Twitter Math Camp Archive for 2015. So uh, just know that's coming, and, and I'll tweet it out a whole bunch over the next couple of weeks. So as you blog post about your experiences, things you've learned, things you want to share, uh, we can put it in the archive so that way it's a nice, easy place to look for it in the future. All right? Awesome. Thank you, Lisa.